You may remember in my last tutorial about levels that I worked on this same image to correct the exposure and the white balance problems in 8-bit mode and the end result is our histogram was very staggered and broken although it didn't matter much in this image because we really couldn't see the difference but I'll show you what the difference is when we work with it in 16-bit mode OK, so just to recap what we did we went to levels and I dragged the white slider up to the, just to the end of the graph here and the black slider up to the beginning of it and then I changed the central one, the gamma to lighten up the midtones then I corrected the white balance by clicking on the grey eyedropper here and selecting an area that should be a neutral grey that was about it OK, then we flattened it to flatten our layers here and that was the result and now we have a look at the histogram now the histogram at the moment looks OK just expand that but that's because it's not I have sorry that's because it hasn't been updated and we can see it hasn't been updated because it's got this warning triangle here we need to click on that to get the current readings and as you'll see as we had before it is very broken, lots of gaps. Right, now we'll have a look to see what it looks like if we do this in 16-bit mode. So first of all, let's just take a snapshot of that one so we can come back to it to compare. And we'll go back a step so the image hasn't been flattened. Now, we're working in 16-bit mode. It doesn't matter when you change it to 16-bit mode, provided you do it before you flatten any layers here. So we've just gone back one step to before flattening the layers and now we'll turn this image into a 16-bit mode image. So we go mode, for image, mode and 16 bits. doesn't appear to have made any difference and it wouldn't have done. Now though if we flatten it, layer, flatten image and then change it back to 8-bit because we can't save it as a JPEG file in 16-bit you don't be able to save it as a PSD file or TIFF so we change it back to 8-bit and then we update our histogram and now look at the difference the histogram is now solid ok we've got a few feathery bits on the top here but that's not a problem it's solid there's no information lost so just to show you the previous one we'll just take a snapshot of that here was the previous one update the histogram that was it flattened in 8-bit mode and this is it flattened in 16-bit mode now as I say with this particular image we couldn't see the difference however the difference is clearly here in some images where the graduations are much smoother or the, the sky is a much stronger colour you will notice a difference and so it's always worth doing even if you don't think you can see any difference because it's data that's not being thrown away you're actually saving information in this image by using 16-bit mode for more tips and tutorials on using Photoshop why not visit my website at www.sally-jane.co.uk